printing. You and I know how to print a document. It's very simple. Open up the document. Click on the print button. If there is a printer, and if you are lucky, if it is not raining, you get the print out. It's very simple. A sixth grader can do it. But complex applications and complex enterprises, they need to print probably thousands and thousands of letters every day. Can you imagine an employee creating promotional offers for their customers? Let's say they have one million customers. Can employee create one million letters? Hard type names of individual customers and uh, offers and print, fold, post it, send to us one million. It's not possible. That's why we automate. The software engineers are here to help them. We automate everything. I explained earlier how we create document production technologies to bulk produce document, document publish technologies to publish the documents. Now the document publish for letters is they publish the documents to the printer. So printer bulk prints every letter. Now the sophisticated printers, they not just print it, they fold the paper and packs inside the letter and even uh, paste it, then automatically it delivered to the outlet basket. USPS will come and collect it. I hope they have probably in another two or three years down the line mechanism where automated drivers delivering these letters from these companies to the USPS. Now the whole deal of printing, folding, mailing out, getting, tracking the letters, all those things are a big ticket item for companies today. And it's costly because imagine the amount of letters they print every day, offer letters they print every day. Now, one thing that letter system offers us today compared to email is the legal authenticity. Today, a bank can send you a letter and go to the court of law and say, I s notified the customer with a physical letter. Bank cannot do that with email today because email does not have the validity like a letter. That's one of the reasons why most of the companies are still sending letters. The regulatory validity of letter. Now, we need to understand this because when we come up with a different alternates for this letter printing, such as we could some, one could ask, hey, we are still living in the old generation. Why don't we just send an email rather than a letter, right? So... <sighs> One, one reason is that, second reason is there are some people still like to read from a physical paper, especially offers and things like that, coupons and things like that. But still, we have a situation here and we also have an opportunity. Today, everybody is printing letters from a dedicated print room and it's bulk print room. After that, let's say they have a print room in Houston. The letter has to be going from the print room to the USPS office locally in Houston. Through a truck, it has to go wherever it has to be delivered. Let's say the letter has to be delivered San Antonio. So the letter has to transport from uh, Houston to some other location to finally San Antonio. Then somebody has to drive the letter to our house and put it in our letter box. Now, do you think is, there is a way to eliminate all this redundancy and possibly even save the letter? Yes, there is a way. Listen to this idea. This is futuristic. In 10 years, this will be real in the world. Today, it's not. But I just want to put that business idea out there. So if anybody wants to pick it up, execute it, it's a multi-million dollar business opportunity. Just imagine, USPS decides, hey, I want to offer a service to my customers that are large enterprises. You don't have to actually print anything at your print room. You can just print to our API service, right? So the 
people who are printing it, they just print a PDF document back to USPS. So they never give actual physical letter. Now, USPS may have bulk rooms all across America, bulk print rooms all across America. They get the PDF, they print it in the closest place. For example, if you are in San Antonio, they print the letter in San Antonio and they will deliver the letter to you so that it has got legal validity. Now, sometimes I can claim, hey, you sent me a letter, but I never got the letter, right? Same thing can happen here as well. Now, let's take the solution to one level forward. Let's see, USPS decides to create local printer equipments and give it to their key customers. So let's say they give a $50 printer and come to me and say, hey, Benoit, you take this printer, we will not bother you with the physical mails anymore. We will print all your letters into this printer. You can choose to buy this or not, but if you have this, we don't have to come all the way down here and drop the letter. We can save a lot of time because we get offers from the enterprises, the PDF file that comes from the enterprises. All we need to do is just print it to your printer here and as long as you have paper, we are happy. And if you don't have paper, you can actually print it to your hard drive. That means paper is also being saved. This is a multi-million dollar idea. If anybody is implementing this, please remember my copyrights and uh, send me at least five percentage of the deal or uh, what do you call, whatever. Whatever you give me, I mean, even if it's one percent, I am okay. For more videos on this topic, please subscribe the channel.